about starting out with weight loving recipes. Today, I'm gonna to be doing my recipe for hot shrimp, or maybe you call them buffalo shrimp. But if you like shrimp, and you haven't tried hot shrimp, you might want to if you like hot wings, because hot shrimp are some good stuff. And so we're gonna get started on that recipe using the New Wave Primo grill oven right now. All right, so before I go through the ingredients that I have here to make this hot shrimp, just wanna give a quick update on the status of the New Wave Primo grill oven replacement parts that I mentioned in the 30 day review video. I saw something interesting going on with this dome. No cracks at all at this point, but I noticed here, if I can show you, this part here, you see how like it's like the same color till you get to this point? It looks like it's just, maybe like it just melted a little or something, I don't know, but it's a little discolored. And I was wondering why is this part of the dome right here getting discolored like this? versus the rest of the dome. Like this part here is a little discolored, but you go around, the rest is perfect. How did that happen? And then I realized this is the part that's in the back touching the part of the grill plate that connects to the power connection. And apparently that heat, because of that you know, little bar there, is touching the back of the dome. And over time, it's causing just a little discoloration there. I don't know what's going to happen with that in the course of time as things progress, but I'll keep you posted. For now, I feel it's, uh, you know, it's okay. We'll see what happens. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug, plug it into the back here the way it needs to be plugged in. Get it plugged into my wall outlet also. So we got it all plugged in. But our ingredients, our ingredients for this cook are basically for the hot shrimp sauce I've got a tablespoon of butter and I've got some of my uh, favorite what's on sale chicken wing sauce and I'm not promoting this brand I'm just saying I grab whatever's on sale and this was what was on sale when I walked down the aisle so depending on the store I'm in and the aisle and you know if they have what I want that's on sale I get it so I'm going to put the tablespoon of butter here into my uh, my pan and we'll just cook that here on the induction cook top just gonna basically get that started I'm just gonna hit it on uh, medium 175 degrees just to start melting that butter and while that's melting what I'm gonna do with the shrimp I'm gonna put about 10 shrimp on the grill plate Alright, so I've got myself about 10 shrimp here on this grill plate, and so with that, I'm going to, basically my butter is almost fully melted, but I'm going to put these shrimp away real quick. Alright, so I just tossed the shrimp back in the freezer. I'm going to just put the lid on the New Wave Primo. This is a pretty fast and easy cook to get frozen shrimp heated up. Just going to turn the Primo on up the temperature to 400 degrees. I've got the heating elements 50-50 top and bottom. Cooking time only needs 7 minutes in the Primo to heat up some frozen shrimp. It goes real fast. I'm going to hit start with that. My butter's already melted because this induction cooktop moves quick. I'm just going to take some of this hot sauce here and uh, this chicken wing sauce. You can use like chicken wing hot sauce. I'm pouring it in. You hear a little of the sizzle. I don't know if I'll use the whole bottle or I'll just use the whole bottle for this. <clears throat> you don't have to use your whole bottle if you don't want to, but enough to cover your, uh, you know, your shrimp. It's up to you. Maybe I can save some for later for, you know, another batch or something. But basically, just going to shake it up a little bit. You don't want to take the uh, Dorlon uh, pot off the induction cooktop too long, or it'll, you know, just stop thinking that there's nothing on there. But basically, going to let those shrimp heat up. Going to let this keep running for the, uh, you know, the sauce mixture to get warmed up. And I'll bring you on back in a moment. All right, we're getting down to the final seconds. I'm just making sure that my wing sauce and my butter are nicely stirred up. I'm going to go ahead and pause the New Wave Pick Pro at this point. It's done its job well. 
going to pour my sauce into this uh, container here, put some slosh in, slosh these shrimp around in. So we'll just unplug the pro, pit pro there, make some room for a plate. Things are done. Turn that off. Those shrimp are hot. Let me grab an instant read for you. Grab my instant read thermometer just to confirm to you that things are nice and hot. We'll just stick one in there. This shrimp is not uh, not as hot as I thought he would be. Let's see. Stick him in there. Okay. Got it in there deeper. I just need to stick it in deeper. I was on the surface. So now I stick it in deeper there. I didn't stick it in far enough. We're good. We're good and safe. So those shrimp are hot. Seven minutes always works. So I just use seven minutes for any frozen shrimp in the, in the Primo. And you can see on the back I get a little grow mark action. So I got a little grow mark. A little searing going on with my grilled shrimp. So you know, grilled fried shrimp are pretty pretty cool to be able to do that with the Primo. So I got all my shrimp in there and that sauce. Now I'm just going to take the cover of the container, shake it up a little bit. I'm going to try and be careful, vent things a little bit because uh, that hot air starts expanding in there. All right, now that things are well mixed up, we're good to go. Now I'm just going to, I'll just take a couple to, well I'll just plate all of them just because I'm going to eat all of them anyway, right? So I'm going to get them all plated for you. All right, so there you go, tin hot shrimp. Let's get the camera moved around and do a taste test. All right, look at those piping hot uh, shrimp there. They look good. I'm going to taste one right now. Okay, good hot shrimp. I got to get off camera, you know, get some uh, something to cool me down and finish these shrimp. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you can find this, other recipes, heating instructions at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always come to this YouTube channel through waveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at waveovenrecipes. Also got a new Wave Oven Recipes podcast going on. You go to like uh, Google Podcasts. You go to, uh, let's see, uh, Pocket Cast, if you go to uh, Spotify, and you can go to some other uh, podcast providers, but it's through Anchor uh, FM, my podcast, so if you go to Anchor FM, it's called Wave Oven Recipes. The podcast is the Wave Oven Recipes podcast, so just look for Wave Oven Recipes, and you can find the podcast, just doing a little podcast thing here and there now and then. So, uh, you know, there's a lot going on for you to check out. Um, also, you know, leave your comments. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me, you know, if you like hot shrimp. Tell me what you like to dip your hot shrimp in. I usually use like some blue cheese or something, but I don't like to use the condiments when I do my taste test. Just like to taste it straight up. But anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel, please. And good eating.